My dear brothers and sisters, I would like to make few announcements. The first being from June 1st onwards, we will be having 13 days Navina to St. Anthony of Padua, also known as Tradicina to St. Anthony of Padua. So if you wish to offer Navina Masses, you can contact us. Secondly, kindly subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get the updates. My dear brothers and sisters, as we are in the presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and as we have gathered around this altar to participate in this Holy Eucharist, let us surrender ourselves, place before the Lord our prayers and petitions as we begin this Holy Eucharist. Let us sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us pray together. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us glorify the Lord. Sing praises to the living God. Glory, hallelujah. Come to the living God. Glory, hallelujah. The sun and moon may pass away, his words will ever stay. His power is forevermore. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to the Trinity, beyond divided unity. The Father, Son, and Spirit one, from whom all life and goodness come. Glory, hallelujah, to the living God. 
let us pray gladden us with holy joys almighty god and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of christ your son is our exaltation and where the head has gone before in glory the body is called to follow in hope through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the acts of the apostles chapter 1 verses 1 to 11 in the first book theophilus I dealt with all that Jesus did and thought until the day he was taken up after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God while meeting with them he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem but to wait for the Lord the promise of the father about which you have heard me speak for John baptized with water but in few days you will be baptized with the holy spirit when they had gathered together they asked him lord Are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this as they were looking on he was lifted up and a cloud took him from their sight while they were looking intently at the sky as he was going suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them they said man of galilee why are you standing there looking at the sky This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. Your response. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. a blare of trumpets for the lord all you peoples clap your hands shout to god with cries of gladness for the lord the most high the awesome is the great king over all the earth your response god mounts his throne to shouts of joy a blare of trumpets for the lord god mounts his throne amid shouts of joy the lord amid trumpet blast sing praise to god sing praise sing praise to our king sing praise your response god mounts his throne to shouts of joy a blare of trumpets for the lord for king of all the earth is god sing hymns of praise god reigns over the nations god sits upon his holy throne your response god mounts his throne to shouts of joy a blare of trumpets for the lord a reading from the letter of saint paul to the ephesians chapter 1 verses 17 to 23 brothers and sisters may the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belong to his call what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones and what is the surpassing greatness of his power 
for us who believe in accord with the exercise of his great might which he worked in Christ raising him from the dead and sitting him at his right hand in the heavens far above every principality authority power and dominion and every name that is named not only in this age but also in the one to come and he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way the word of the lord thanks be to god gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia go and teach all nations says the lord i am with you always until the end of the world alleluia The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O God. Jesus said to his disciples, "You see how it is written that the Christ will suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that in his name repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all nations." beginning from jerusalem you are witnesses to these and now i am sending down to you what the father has promised stay in the city then until you are clothed with the power from on high then he took them out as far as the outskirts of bethany and lifting up his hands he blessed them but now as he blessed them He withdrew from them and was carried up to heaven. They worshipped him and then went back to Jerusalem full of joy, and they were continually in the temple praising God. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ into heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, the ascension is not disincarnation. As if God became man, he saved us and he went back as God. No. He returned back to heaven or he ascended into heaven as a human as well as a god and therefore we can very easily or very simply say that since the ascension humanity is something that we have in common with god so my dear brothers and sisters what is this ascension ascension is a solemnity that we all are celebrating today but more than that it sustains our hope of each one of us very specially that one day we all will be where Christ is now so my dear brothers and sisters in our first reading from the acts of the apostles it recounts the last moments and meetings between jesus and his dear apostles We see Christ giving his apostles a very important instruction that is he says to them do not leave Jerusalem but wait there for what the father has promised and what was promised was the gift of the holy spirit and therefore they were called to remain in Jerusalem to pray for the gift of the holy spirit my dear brothers and sisters jesus christ encouraged his disciples as he was about to ascend to heaven he encouraged his disciples to remain faithful he encouraged them to remain faithful before becoming 
successful. He reminds them that their success will entirely and fully will depend on their ability to walk with the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit was the help that was given by God the Father to them. And if they are true to the Holy Spirit, very especially to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, they would be successful. And before that, Jesus has invited them and told them that they need to be faithful. My dear brothers and sisters, now these instructions that Jesus gave to his apostles are not only to them, but they are also through apostles to each one of us. Now, as we go about doing our duties or as we go to our workplaces, my success will entirely depend upon my faithfulness to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. And many a times, if we are not open in receiving or listening to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, we will never be able to do what is pleasing to God. And therefore, in our ministry, whatever it may be, it may be teaching, cooking, sweeping, or whatever it may be, we are first and foremost invited by Jesus to be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the help that God has given to us so that we walk the path and reach the heaven where Christ is today. So my dear brothers and sisters, in the second reading, St. Paul prays asking God to send us the Holy Spirit. He says, May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ give you the spirit of wisdom and perception of what is revealed to bring you the full knowledge of Him. Now this prayer which St. Paul prayed should also be our prayer every day. As we go about our daily routine, we should always pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We should always invite the Holy Spirit before we begin our work or before we take any important decision in our life. We need to invite the Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit will guide us so that we take the right decisions, decisions that will give glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus. So my dear brothers and sisters, we must ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us so that we follow Him. And why we need to ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide? Because the ways of the Holy Spirit and His counsels are always right. And therefore, we need to pray and believe and trust the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel, Jesus knows that His disciples needed help in order to succeed. So He instructed them by saying, Stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. This was a clear-cut instruction given by Jesus to his dear apostles. And we all know that his apostles followed these instructions. They remained in Jerusalem, in the temple, as the gospel ends. They went back joyfully, praising and thanking the Lord. Because they remained faithful to the teachings, to the instruction of Jesus, they were blessed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And after receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit, we all know that they were no longer the same people. So my dear brothers and sisters, we must seek this power if we must have any impact in this world. If I have no gift of the Holy Spirit or if I don't, Invite the Holy Spirit to guide me, to inspire me. I will never be able 
to have any positive impact in the world. The apostles had positive impact in the world when, when they listened to the instruction, when they prayed for the gift, and after they received, they were able to transform the other brothers and sisters in the same manner. Therefore, we must pay very close attention to the instruction of Jesus and to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus knows everything as an experienced teacher and master. Therefore, he knows to be successful, we need to be guided by the Holy Spirit. We need to be faithful to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. So my dear brothers and sisters, the important message of today's reading is that Jesus told his disciples, stay in the city until you are clothed with the power from on high. We need to follow the instructions of Jesus. We need to be faithful to the instructions of Jesus. It's only when we pay attention and when we are faithful to the instructions of Jesus, we will be blessed and through us, people who come in contact or people who are under our care will be blessed. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the ascension of Christ today and we expect the fulfillment of this, of his promise on the Pentecost Sunday, let us pray. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now profess our faith. I believe, I believe in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, Son and Lord, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, at this moment, let us place before our Lord and Saviour our prayers and petitions. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, cardinals, bishops, and priests and religious, that they may be true to their calling, they remain faithful to the instruction of Jesus and open to the promptings of the Spirit. Guided by the Holy Spirit, may they continue to serve and take care of the people entrusted to their care. We pray for the world, that there may be peace, love and joy. Very especially we pray for Ukraine, Russia, Sri Lanka. As these countries continue to suffer, as these countries continue to be in pain, in agony, we pray for the political leaders of these countries, that they may be open to the promptings of the Spirit and guided by the Spirit, they may be able to do what is good for the people and thus bring glory to God. We also pray for people who are sick and suffering, who are on the verge of death. We pray that the Lord, by His healing touch, may bring healing to these people. We continue to pray for our children as they have begun their education or their schooling. Some of them have yet to become, have yet to start. But we pray for all our children that they may be safe and sound, that they 
may not be affected by any sicknesses may they may be blessed so that they they may be able to be study well and do well in their lives we pray for the teachers we pray for each and every one of us at this very moment let us remain silent and bring before the lord all our prayers and petitions all those people whom we have promised to pray at this moment we bring before the altar of the lord all our prayers and petitions lord jesus christ you have said ask and it shall be given to you with faith and hope in you we have placed our prayers and petitions do grant them so that we continue to be your loving children give us the grace to always be open to the promptings of the holy spirit and by listening to the holy spirit may we continue to do what is pleasing to you we make this prayer through christ our lord amen my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may, may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all this holy church we offer sacrifice now in supplication o lord to honor the wondrous ascension of your son grant we pray that through this most holy exchange we too may rise up to the heavenly realms Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder mediator between god and man judge of the world and lord of host he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state but that we his members might be confident of following where he our head and founder has gone before therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, with the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. <coughs> Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Living waters flow on. When I'm lost and gone from you, when I'm lost and gone from you, help me, Lord, to find your way. Help me, Lord, to find your way. Living waters flow on. Living waters flow on. Sweep away my pain. Sweep away my pain. Bring your healing to my heart. Bring your healing to my heart. Let us pray. Almighty our living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, just to remind you once again that from 1st of June, we will be having 13 days Navina to St. Anthony of Padua, also known as uh, Tredicina. If you wish to offer Masses for Navina, you may contact us. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive the updates. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Kindly bow your heads to receive God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for on this very day His only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend where He is. Amen. May He grant that, as Christ after His resurrection was seen plainly by His disciples, so when He comes as judge, He may show Himself merciful to you for all eternity. Amen. And may you who believe he is seated with the Father in his majesty, know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and live Jesus. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, I wish each one of you a blessed Sunday. Let there be glory and honor and praises. Glory and honor to Mary. Glory, honor, glory and honor to her. She's the star. Savior